So if your name comes up again, I'm going to have to repick a winner. All right. So y'all ready to see who the winners are? All right. The first prize was from Sheila. Her channel name is Sheila Fulton. And she donated a nice box of yarn. There was lots of ice yarn in that box. And the key word for that prize was checkers. All right. So let's pull up the comment picker. All right, I have the URL from the live entered. All right, and I'm filtering out duplicate users. And the keyword was checkers. So let's get that typed in. Checkers. All right. There were 35 entries. So good luck, everybody. And the winner is Doris Ortman. Her comment reads, hi, Connie. Happy birthday. I love most of the games you mentioned. Jenga, Yahtzee, Chinese checkers, guess who, and chess. Hungry Hungry Hippo is my kiddo's favorite, but not mine. Too loud and chaotic, laughing out loud. My favorite is Clue. Well, guess what, Doris Ortman? You are the winner of the box of yarn from Sheila Fulton. And for all my winners, I need you to send me an email at justanotherstitch2020 at gmail.com. I'm going to have it up above for y'all. And if y'all can, let me know what prize you won when you email me. That will just make it easier. And once I get the emails, I will forward your information to the person that donated the prize so they can get your prize out to you. And I will give them both your mailing address if it's a physical prize and your email address. All right. So let's move on to the next winner. All right. Give me just a minute to get everything situated here. All right. The second prize was from Cynthia with Cynthia's Joyful Creations. Her prize was a $25 Amazon gift card. And the key word for that prize was chess. All right. Let's pull everything up. There were 34 entries, so good luck, everyone. And the winner is Tammy. Mimi loves crochet. So, Tammy, um, congratulations. You are the winner. And you know what? I forgot to do this for the first winner. <laughs> All right. So that was for Doris. This is for Tammy. Okay, Tammy's comment reads, wonderful time at your birthday celebration. When younger, my family was so great. We played games at least one or two nights a week. I enjoyed checkers, Jenga, chess, and Clue. After having my only child, I continued with the weekly games and Shane loved the game Trouble, Yahtzee, Guess Who, and Hungry Hungry Hippo. Thank you, Connie, for reminding me of the wonderful childhood I had and enjoying my sons as well. Happy birthday, Connie. Aw, thank you. And again, congratulations, Tammy, at Mimi Loves Crochet. All right, so we are going to move on to the next prize. The next prize came from Julie with Treasures Made from Yarn, and she donated one skein of Karen Coconut Cake Yarn. And the key word for that prize was clue. So let me get everything entered. Oops, my alarm just went off. 
Hold up. Give me just one moment. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. All right. The keyword was, was clue, right? Let me make sure. Yeah. All right. There were 26 entries. So let's see who the lucky winner is going to be. Okay, Doris already won. So we're going to have to pick another winner. All right. The winner is Julia with at Dudley's Crochet, a.k.a. Julia. And her comment reads, happy birthday. I used to play Hungry Hungry Hippo with my son when he was little. I never played Guess Who. I played Jenga with my nephew, and he always cheats. When we play, my dad and me played checkers till I kept beating, beating him at the game. Timmy is supposed to teach me how to play chess. I love the game Clue. I always stay in trouble. <laughs> Timmy and I played Yahtzee when we went to our camper that we sold. All right. Congratulations, Julia, a.k.a. Dudley Crochet, a.k.a. Julia. You are the winner. All right. So let's get to the next prize. Let me put the link back. All right, the next prize comes from me. <laughs> One of my patterns from my Ravelry store. And there's going to be two winners. You get to pick whichever pattern you want. And most of y'all know I just released the St. Patrick's Day Leprechaun Gnome hat. So there's a new pattern. All right. So let me get the keyword enter. Entered, it's Yahtzee. I need more room on my desk. <laughs> All right, Yahtzee. All right, there are 13 entries. So let's pick the first winner. Okay, Julia already won. So we have to pick another winner. All right, Lori at Arm, Armchair Chef is the winner. Congratulations, Lori. <laughs> and her comment reads, what a great birthday celebration. Happy birthday and so many games that I used to play too. It's hard to play Hungry Hungry Hippo as an only child. You can guess who is in trouble, but I don't have a clue. My grandma had a chess and Chinese checkerboard at her house I would play with. At the local fair, they had a life-size ginger, gin, I have trouble saying that word, ginger, game. People could play, and my, my family were more of a Kesmet fan than Yahtzee. All right, so you are the first winner of one of my patterns, Lori, at Armchair Chef. Let's see who the second winner is going to be. Da, 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 da. All right. The second winner is Angela with at Angela Farron Burt 4725. She is the second winner of one of my patterns. All right, and Angela's comment reads, happy birthday, Connie. Oh my gosh, all the games you brought up. Jenga, Trouble, Hungry Hungry Hippo, Checkers, Chess, Yahtzee, Clue, Guess Who. I played all of these with my children, and I still have them to be able to play with my grandchildren. Thank you so much for bringing up such wonderful memories for me when you mentioned these games. Happy birthday, Connie. Hope your day was as special as you are. Aw, thank you. All right. It seems like y'all enjoyed, like, remembering all these games. Um, I know I love playing these games as a kid. All right. So for the next prize, it comes from Charity with Frog Crochet. And it's a set of her stitch markers. All right. And the key word 
for her prize as Hungry Hungry Hippo. Oops, and I cannot type. Hungry Hungry Hippo. All right. Let's get to the entries. There are 16 entries for the stitch markers. All right, let's pick a winner. Good luck. And the winner is Roseanne Alexander, 4356. Congratulations, Roseanne. And Roseanne's comment reads, thank you to everyone who donated these items so those of us who missed the live can still be included in her birthday bash. The games I chose are Checkers, Chess, Jenga, Hungry Hungry Hippo, and Yahtzee. Thank you. Well, congratulations, Roseanne Alexander. You are the winner. All right. Next up. Let's see. The next prize comes from Dawn with Dawn Yorn Doll. And she don donated a Knotted Lovey book. And I wasn't able to show the book when I did the live. I didn't have a picture of it. So let me pull up a picture for y'all real, real quick. So y'all can see what it looks like. Let me find where I saved it at. <laughs> Okay, this is what the book looks like. Isn't that cute? So that is what this price is for. All right, let me get back to the comment picker. Doo -doo -doo. All right, enter the link. All right, the keyword for this prize was trouble. All right. There are 23 entries, so let's see who the winner is going to be. Good luck. Oh, congratulations. Mary is the winner at M. Hayen 7539. Mary Hayen's comment reads, had fun playing games on your live. I can remember playing Guess Who, Hungry Hungry Hippo, Hungry Hungry Hippo. I had to sing, y'all, sorry. Uh, Jenga, Checkers, Chess, Clue, Trouble, and Yahtzee. Well, congratulations, Mary Hayen. You are the winner. All right, next prize. Bear with me. All right. The next prize comes from Stephanie with Life and Stitches. Her prize was a turtle amigurumi. And the key word was, oh, um, guess who? Sorry. Guess who is the key word? Let me get that entered. All right. There are 13 entries, and let's find out who the winner is going to be. Good luck. Congratulations. At Joe.Speakman is the winner. Congratulations, Joe Speakman. And her comment reads, I've not heard of Guess Who. I do like to play checkers, chess, and Jenga. All right. For those that don't know what Guess Who is for the board game, you have like these little pictures of characters on your board. And one of them is the one that you have to guess. And you take a turn where you might say, does, does your character have brown hair? And then the person would answer yes or no. And you would turn down the ones that it eliminated. Or you might ask, do they have green eyes? And the same thing. Are they wearing a hat? Stuff like that. And then you try to, you know, you narrow it down till you have one left. 
and then hopefully you have it correct. And if you do, then you're the winner. So that's how Guess Who is played. Because I saw there were a lot of comments that people had never heard of that game. I loved playing that game as a kid. Really, I loved pretty much all of these games. I think the only one I didn't like was a uh, Risk. And I never played chess much. I played chess one time. And the person I played against was actually a good player. And I was that, I came that close to winning my first time playing. I was like, go Connie. Um, but anyway, the last prize comes from Dana with Dana Wonderless Crochet. And if you're in the U.S., it will be a wool genie. If you're outside of the U.S., it will be an Amazon gift card. And the currency is U.S. dollars, and it's $40. All right, and the keyword was Jenga. And there are 31 entries. All right, good luck, everyone. Okay, Doris again. <laughs> Common Picker loves you today, Doris. All right. All right. Sherry Knowles 0811 is the winner. Congratulations, Sherry Knowles. All right. Sherry's comment reads, happy birthday again, Connie. I didn't realize how many people don't know how replay giveaways work. Yeah, and a lot of people, they do, they do get confused on it because when you're live, the chat is open or if you're doing a premiere. But the thing is, the comment picker won't pick up the comments in the ch chat after the live ends. So we wait until the, the comment section opens up, and that's where you have to put your comments. Um, but it, it is kind of confusing, but that's where the comment picker gets the comments from. But it's all good. <laughs> we got there. Um, and hopefully everybody did understand it at the end. Uh, and thank you. She's saying I did a good job explaining, but I had to work at it. Sorry. I'm I'm used to having to explain this um, because or every time like premieres, it happens every time. So it's like a lot of people really don't know how it works, but never fear. Connie will explain. <laughs> All right. I have never played Jenga. I think most of us have played checkers. I did learn to play chess. If I do now play, I do online. I can get myself into trouble when I watch Yorn unboxings. Oh, yeah. Yorn can get us all in trouble. All right. So congratulations, Sherry Knowles. So those were all of the replay winners. So I need all of y'all to send me an email at just another stitch. 2020 at gmail.com. And I would prefer it if you told me what prize it is that you won. It just make my life easier when I'm sorting the emails. And it may take me a couple of days to get through all the emails. So if I don't respond back to you today, don't, you know, I'm going to get to it. I promise y'all. Um, today's a busier day. I plan to film another video. Then I go live this evening. Um, me and Pam are doing our collab live. Pam with Be Creative Crafts. And the live is called, if you haven't watched it, Just Be Stitching with Pam and Connie. We alternate channels each month. This month, it's on my channel. Um, it's at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we're going to be talking about Easter projects and sharing some Easter patterns with y'all. So I hope y'all can make it to that live this evening. Also, my video birthday bash giveaway is still going on. You have until the end of day, March 13th, to enter for those prizes. 
I will put the link for that giveaway in the description box. So if y'all haven't entered yet, what are y'all waiting for? There's some sweet prizes. You might get lucky. You never know. So anyway, I hope y'all are all having a fabulous yarny day. Be the light. And always remember to be the best sparkly you that you can be in. Be cool and be kind. I'm shimmying, y'all. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Thank mm -hmm. you.